next example isn't too bad out of section 2.4. I think you're going to do a great job with this. Um, what they've done this time is they've given us a conditional and they want us to write the converse and then present a biconditional statement. So remember in example one, they gave us a biconditional and said split it up into the conditional and converse. Now we have the conditional and we're going to write the converse and the biconditional statement. So I think you're going to do a great job with this. I'm really not that worried about this particular concept. So here's our conditional statement right here. If 2x plus 5 equals 11, then x equals 3. So to make this a converse, then we would just say if x equals 3, then 2x plus 5 equals 11. That's all we do. We switch the, the hypothesis and conclusion. That's all we do there. Okay? Then to do the biconditional, I would go back to the original conditional and say this. If 2x plus 5, or I, I don't want to actually use the word if, I would say, let's mark that out. 2x plus 5 equals 11, and then you're going to write these words, if and only if x equals 3. Okay? So that's a great biconditional there. You actually don't need to start it off with an if like I did. I just lost track for just a second. You start with um, your hypothesis, 2x plus 5 equals 11, and then insert the four words, if and only if x equals 3. Okay, let's look at B. If a point is a midpoint, then it divides a segment into two congruent statements. So here's our conditional. So our converse, we're going to switch that around. Um, if a point divides a segment into two congruent segments, I'm going to try and use some symbolism if I can, then the point is a midpoint. So what I did was I just successfully switched the order. And I had to do a little bit more writing. And you're going to find that in geometry, especially when we're you know, having to prove things, we're going to have to do some writing. There's some paragraph proofs we're going to have to do. So if that's not your thing, it needs to become your thing because we are going to have to, it's going to be more than just slapping a single number down on a piece of paper and going, here's my answer. You have to justify everything. So we're going to practice writing this out. Okay, so our biconditional is going to be this. A point is a midpoint if and only if it divides the segment into two congruent segments. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of writing, but we got it. We're very accurate. We did a really good job. So I'm going to give another two points here, one for 2A and one for 2B. If you can please write for me the converse and biconditional statements in the space below, okay? I think you're not going to have a single problem with this. So good luck and bring any questions you have to class.